Hey, good afternoon. Usually I do these in the morning here, but uh, was tied up this morning, but uh, finally got a minute or two here. And th this has come up, uh, you know, two to three times here, probably in the last three or four months. And I've talked about it before, but if you are self-employed and let's say you hit that two year mark and you, you know, have the income to support it and so forth, but then you change the structure of your self-employment. Okay. So we had a scenario here. We had somebody was a schedule C uh, and then they went to uh, 1120S uh, Corp. And basically when that happens, don't think, hey, well, I've been self-employed for five years, two years, 10 years. That changes the ball game. And a lot of times that restarts the clock of using your income, okay? Um, I know to, to the outside world, people are like, well, what's the difference? I'm self-employed, self-employed. Well, from underwriter's perspective, from a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac perspective, how they're gonna look at it is basically, hey, how do we now calculate the expenses and, and the income now? Because it's it's written off different or it's or it's it's allocated differently. So a lot of times you gotta be very careful with this, people who are self-employed. Okay, very, very careful. Is that if you do change the structure, count on it being at least two years from that point before you can qualify because they need a history of that now. Okay, so so the reason why and, and just think it through this lens here. The reason why people change their businesses is because, hey, it's tax purposes, it's expenses, it, it's how I show my income, okay, all that stuff. Now, if that's going to be shown differently, it's very tough for the underwriter, um, you know, to take that and, and allocate that along the same lines as Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac guidelines and try to find out, hey, what's the income now? What's the expenses now? So be very, very careful, okay? I mean, I came across this years ago. I had somebody who was self-employed literally 17 years, changed his structure Complete nightmare. Now, sometimes we, we've gotten it through. It really depends on the structure of it. It depends on, a, on the circumstance. But it's very important if you're looking to get approved for a mortgage, okay, um, to, to make sure that your structure, not just you being self-employed, but your structure is in place for at least two years, okay? So if that's a Schedule C, great, okay? Uh, you know, keep it that way until you purchase. And then after that, you know, try, try doing something to help you with taxes and so forth. I know businesses change. They change all the time. So I totally get it. So, but keep the structure, the same structure, how your business is set up the same way. Uh, not only being self-employed, but being that same structure for at least two years. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.